everyone, I put on makeup. So everyone should Ooh. feel pretty excited about that. Appreciate, um, please. Thank you. It makes me look, um, I don't know, kind of sick, to be honest, but... I was already looking sick. The issue is that my eyes are starting to swell a little bit on the bottom. So I put, um, what's, whatchamacallit? You know, the thing you use to cover stuff up. Concealer? Concealer. <laughs> I'm not doing well <laughs> with English today. Um, but I, put, I ended up putting concealer under my eyes and everything, and now it just looks kind of weird. Um, because I always have dark circles under my eyes. So it's kind of weird when I don't. I look like a completely different person. <laughs> so, you know, it happens. How? I, but by the way, hello everyone. It's me again with my <laughs> with my friend BB8, uh, aka Doctor Ray Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Everyone's just. This is normal. We're just doing. I, things. I am here to taser your Imperial guards and hack open doors. <laughs> It's true. And you have a cute little, like, thumbs up. My mm -hmm. Lego BB-8 does. I, I, can, I can turn something and it, like, pops out and a little, like, flame thumbs up comes out. Oh, my God. Cute. On the other side. See, when I, I first saw mm -hmm. that, I thought it was, I thought he was flipping Finn off. I mean, valid. You can I read it as that. I thought. I genuinely. And somebody was like, no, it's a thumbs up. I like, I thought he was telling Finn to fuck off, but okay. You know, whatever. <laughs> Oof. But yeah, um, we, everyone voted on Twitter, I say everyone, five people voted on Twitter, and, uh, they, it won me actually finishing aggregation on stream, so those of you here today, I hope you're excited to watch me play more aggregation, um, Woo -woo. because we have another, what, how many, we were on 18? Oh, no. We were on 18, and we only have to get to 25. So. Yeah. We're close. We are less than 10 levels from the end. The light we at the end it. of the tunnel is in sight. Oof. Air <laughs> coming out. That's fine. Okay. So, I'm going to start up the game now. I don't want to, like, waste too much time. Um, what am I doing? What? Where am I? Oh, okay. I need to be opening up the game that's where i'm at right now <laughs> oh i guess it is hard to play the game without playing the game generally you know generally speaking Oof, that was bright okay let's see if it will actually just show up no nope. it's like you're playing a new version of deadly device it is not the deadly device we were playing yesterday I don't know what it is about the OBS on this computer that does that, because on my laptop, it doesn't. And it's the same version of OBS. Hmm. Because I, every time I record The Sims on my, on my laptop, it's yeah. always the same. Like, it always shows up the same. Mm hmm Can everyone, can someone in chat, like, say something so I know that my chat is updating? Anyone. Just say something. Because I remember, okay, well, thanks, Dr. Ray Ray. I remember <laughs> um, what happened was I'm always, like, super, like, sketchy about it. Because the first time I was trying to um, speed run Secrets Can Kill, I, I'll, I'm just going to go over here. So it's, oh, I almost forgot to share the screen with you. You kind oh. of, you kind of need to see it. Um, I guess. I guess. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, I thought no one was in chat because on my screen, nothing was happening in chat. So I was just like, okay, guess no one's here to watch it. That's fine. Um, and then I ended up watching the VOD and the chat was like, there were like 12 people in there just chatting and like cheering me on. No. And I couldn't see anything they were saying. Oh, no. So I'm always like, is it is it working? Is chat working? <laughs> I'm good. Okay, let's... Switch be like that sometimes. It sure... Fuck aggregation. <laughs> I agree. Tell us how you really feel, Risa. Okay. 
I need to get rid of these, like, the, the ones with timers on them. Yeah. So I can get rid of that one. Ooh, okay. I do this. I can get rid of this one. And I can fix that over here. Um, God, I really just can't do anything about that one. This is frustrating. Yeah. Um, it's just gonna happen. Um, so I can just hope to get to it later. Oh, and it's always on the edge like that. However, yeah. I can at least get rid of that if I really need to. Um, yeah. What is my strategy here? <laughs> my strategy here <laughs> i've been watching the chess show recently so most people might know what that is um but it's it's been driving me crazy um what do i want to do here i'm not very good at chess just as as a as an aside nor am i um, i yeah we used to have in my undergrad physics department, there was a, um, somebody brought in a chess set that was planets. <laughs> so like, I think Jupiter was king and Saturn was queen. And then like, you know, kind of went out from there. Um, I forget what the pawns were. It might've been the moon, but I, I never, there was a couple people who would play chess and I could not be one of them because I was so bad at it. And this, this was with them kind of trying to teach me. Because they were like, no, 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 like, just play and you'll learn how. And I was like, you highly overestimate my skills. Oh, I hate this bullshit. I can do that. Oh my god, I'm so... Just give us another purple. I hate this. I hate this so much. You guys have no idea how mad I am right now. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna blow that up there. Um, I think I need to restart this level. Yeah. Um, I just did not do that right. No, I don't want to save first. <laughs> okay. So, it gives me, a com it's completely different what I have going on around here. I don't have a bomb at all. Um, mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm going to do this, this, we're going to come in. This. Thankfully, I have a bomb. Where is the best place for the bomb? I think up here, so I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah. Um, I hate this. I'm just gonna restart this level again, and I'm gonna keep doing it until I can get a good opening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was so like in the zone yesterday. Oops. Load game. Load. Okay. Okay. Whew. Oh, you're not late. You've you've just missed us trying to reroll aggregation until we get a you know good opening. Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Yes. Okay. 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 I'm gonna have to do something really silly. Yes, okay. I can't get it for this round, but. But you can, yeah. God, I need that yellow out of the way. The yellow is all I need this time. Um, so let's try. Are you kidding me? Um. <laughs> uh... 
Disappointed. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I still, I can't stop it now, but I can at least do it there. Cool. There we go. Now I don't have any more of those, um, which helps. So blue. We can Anyone watch Xena. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first crush. Thank you very much. Okay, my so. mom, yeah, we, she really liked Hercules' legendary journeys, and of course, Xena is a spinoff of that. So we also watched Xena. That was that was also where my mother got to like awkwardly sort of defend conservatism, but not really understand why she was doing it. Because eventually they made explicit that Xena and Gabrielle were girlfriends, right? Yeah. And I remember my mom being like, oh, you know, that's not right. And, you know, me, like, I don't remember how old I was. I was in elementary school. I was like, why? And she's like, well, girls don't marry other girls. And I was like, well, why? What? Why? <laughs> and she's like, uh, they just don't. Like, <laughs> she clearly had no good explanation for it. And it is very funny in hindsight. Because it's like you, there, there was no good reason. You were just upset to be upset. <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, she, she would thirst over Kevin Sorbo in his leather pants. Of course, so would my mother. And, but then she also thirsted over Zena. So yeah. Whereas you know, Zena is definitely not my mother's aesthetic type. She, yeah. she doesn't have a small enough nose. And like a, a round enough face. She kind of likes that like small round face with a little button nose. She does not know that's what she's doing, by the way, but she certainly has an aesthetic type. My mother is by aesthetic and that's just that. <laughs> I know because I also am. <laughs> just everyone is pretty. Sweet. Okay. Um, yes. That's a, that's a good bomb location right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's so much better. Oh. Okay, what do I want to... Now, here's the question. What do I want to take... This is what I take out with that. I can yeah. do that. Beautiful. Um, Where do I go next? Well, if I'm going to get... Here we go. We can do yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. And then... Ooh. Watch this. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can get rid of that. Oh! Okay, everything seems manageable now. We can see the board. <sighs> okay. Um, so if my next one is going to be the color, ch the color changer, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, the rainbow star, the gay star. If the, the gay, gay star, star is coming next, then... <laughs> Hmm, what do I want to do? What is the, I think this green section right here is probably the best thing I can do with that. So I'm going to want it from the top. Yes. Yes. Yeah. If I do that, I can do, here, let's do this. Yeah. No, and I think I was even saying like one or two nights ago that I think it was on Xena that Carl Urban was Cupid. Yes. They, they called him Cupid. They didn't call him Eros, but they, I think they called him Cupid in his bedazzled suspenders. Yes. Honestly, the bedazzled suspenders are the part that is the funniest to me. It's not that it's Carl Urban with a really bla bad like bleach blonde hairdo and leather pants. It's the It's the bedazzled suspenders that get me. Because the poor costume department was like, you want us to try to put wings on him and like get them and you want them to actually like kind of be a decent size and like stay on him. The only and you want him to be shirtless. We hate you all. <laughs> That's it. He gets bedazzled suspenders. Okay. Oh, we're really making some progress here. I'm yeah. very excited. Um, I'm mad that I can't do that. Yeah, right. It's very um, rude. So yellow is coming next, and I want that to come from... I could do it from below or above. Yeah. Or from the side, really. If I do it like that. But if I do mm -hmm. it like that, I'm blocking that going on. Yep. So... 
What is the best choice? Um, maybe take that purple and block the blue from the bottom. Yeah, that maybe? sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sh oh, actually. Okay. I want... We're going to do this. Yeah. So I can do this and this. Um, orange. I can finally yeah, get rid of that. Yeah. Um, get rid of that. Oh, yeah. A bomb. Is that a good place for the bomb? I think it's where I have to go for the bomb. I yeah, can't, it's I can't the go only, anywhere else. It's, it's the best spot you have. I think I've seen... I think I watched, like, the beginning of the 1927 Metropolis movie. I know I saw all the way through an anime version of it because I was at, like, a friend's birthday party sleepover and she was super into anime. <laughs> um, and so I seem to recall that that is what I saw. Do I remember any of it? No. <laughs> Oh no, that yeah, that that definitely would have been like that's that's a lot of the themes of sci-fi and like especially early sci-fi dealing with artificial intelligence is exploitation by the upper class. Because once you get to like explore robots as, you know, metaphor for like slavery, right? Then you get to yeah, explore all those ideas. No, you totally could just stack up those three yellows alongside each other. Am you... I? Yeah, so if you take that bottom one and you uh -huh. shoot it right up the middle, it gets stopped by that wall. That and then one? You can take the top one, it get... yeah. Then you can take the top one, it gets... Oh, wait, no, you can't. Yeah, I I'm... can't, yeah. I was thinking that was a movable one. I don't know why. I know, right? It's okay. I mean, you could try to set it up for a four. Here? Oh, wait, no, you can't, because there's the wall there. Damn yeah, it! Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, Who designed fuck. this thing? That's why I'm trying to, like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Um, yeah. That way I, I can I can actually set that up to do something. Same mm -hmm. with, I'm going to do this. This seems like a bad plan. However, I'm going to do it like this, so I can do yeah, that. Yeah, like, you don't have anything up that side, so, so it's I fine. So I can do that. Yep. Um... I'm gonna have two blues, one right after the other. So I kind of want to just like stack them. Mm -hmm. So what I might do is just put them both here. Mm -hmm. That seems yeah. yeah and then I can do the purple, fine. blue. Yep. Um. Ooh. Okay. So I need purple to come from the bottom. Beautiful. Um. However, now I can actually do this, this, and this. Yeah. This. Um, we can just straight up use the, I don't want to use the bomb there though, but I don't want to put anything else out. Right. But I can't like actually explode that with the bomb. Mother, mother lover, mother clucker. <laughs> well, what you could do is just, um, clear something on one of the three sides and then blow it up with the bomb. That's true. So if I do this and then this... Then I can do this. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Team effort. Whoa, whoa. Save. Save immediately. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, at least I don't have any of the ticking ones right now. That's, yeah. That's good. Um, otherwise, I was going to scream. Oh, yeah. Drink for every aggregation level. That's right. Shh. <laughs> you will not have a good time. I'm just gonna put that out there. This one is very difficult. I don't like this. Okay. Can I? Mm. I think I can actually do this. Yeah, so I do that. Yeah. Um, orange. How do I get... Where do I want orange to go? Hmm... I'm gonna just load a couple things, right? Ooh. Where do I want the bomb to come from? Mm. I think trying the bomb over here would be a good plan. You just clear that whole quadrant if you yeah. can, or more of the quadrant. Yeah. So I do that, right? 
And then I can do yeah. that. Okay, so green's gonna come next. I want green to come from over here so I can clear that. Um, do it like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm killing myself here. <laughs> um, oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. <laughs> Where do I want green to come next? Yeah. Ooh, bomb. Um, I would like bomb the bomb to come from the bottom though, if possible. Yeah. Um, which is possible. No, I remembered I dropped this in um, the group chat earlier, but the paper, the newspaper that you see, <laughs> that Nancy reads from at the start of the game is the Rocky Mountain News, which was a real newspaper. I say was. It went under in 2009. <laughs> Deadly Device was released in 2012. That newspaper had been dead for three years by the time Nancy read it. It was deader than Nico. Amazing. <laughs> oh, if you have Sylvester Stallone in a role, yeah, you like you have to you have to show his face. Like um... how 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 else are you gonna you know cast Sylvester Stallone? How are you gonna know it's him apart from his very distinctive voice? Might have been why they used it. No one to sue. Uh. So, actually, since the Rocky Mountain News was a name, like a factual name, um, and no endorsement was implied by their use, it's possible that the use of their name would have just fallen under fair use anyway. Um, like, that's why, that's why you can show, and it's more common in books, like, it's more common you can write in books, like, the name of a TV show, for instance. Like, if you're writing a novel that is set in you know, 2018, you can talk, you can say that they are going to watch Game of Thrones. If you turn around and start describing the plot, you might run into trouble. But if you're saying, oh, like, we're, got, we're all going to watch Game of Thrones tonight, you don't have to make it Game of Llamas. Yeah. The Sims just chooses to do that because, you know, that's a world immersion thing, but they're not actually really trying to skirt uh, trademark or copyright. Uh, they're doing that for flavor. So... It's it's when you get into visual media that you start using like the brand like the the visuals of the brand those are usually more heavily policed because that can start to imply endorsement and that's artwork and so you they get antsier about that but yeah I I do not think her interactive was that concerned about respecting the Rocky Mountain News's trademark <laughs> Sorry, I'm just completely silent right now. Uh, That's okay. I apologize to anyone who's actually trying to, like, tell what's going on. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying my best. What are you doing? My best. Um, <laughs> I want this to come from up here, so. Oh, no, see, I'm sure the 2012 Judge Dredd probably was better, but Carl Urban despite the roles that he has played, is still not nearly as recognizable in 2012 as Sylvester Stallone was in the 90s. So the the execs were probably less antsy about having him have his helmet for the entire film. It's like technically in The Born Identity, uh, Oh God, what was his name? Should have should have been like changing his appearance constantly because that was uh, in the books. That was what Jason Bourne was really known for was having a very boring face that did not really take much effort to make him look completely different. And so Matt Damon, that was his name, uh, should have been doing that constantly and wasn't because he was Matt Damon. 
Um, you hired him for the face. You hired him for the recognizability. So. Oh. So close. Oh my God. Rude. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I mean, what else were you going to do with it? Valid. <laughs> I like that it tries to help me towards the end. Um, you know it's like, what I mean? Here, here's the pieces that you kind of need yet. I'm gonna do that. Ah! Nice. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, some actors oh. become their role. Some are known as one role, and some of them are themselves in whatever movie. Yeah, the Tom Cruise is just Tom Cruise in yeah. this movie. Mm -hmm. It's literally just Tom Cruise. Sean Connery, same this. thing. Like, Sean Connery was in The Prince of Thieves... Uh, movie and it was literally just Sean Connery as himself. Oh, we mean King Richard, but really Sean Connery as himself. Tom Cruise got hyped because he danced in his underwear in one of his early movies. That is that is the hype of Cruise, is him in his underpants. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's literally all it is. Prince of Thieves is is an absolute disaster movie that, like, yeah, you watch it to watch Alan Rickman chew the scenery apart. And also for Morgan Freeman, it's just like, oh, God, what are all of you dumbass white people doing? <laughs> yes. Ah! The, and it, I just blocked I my own play. I just blocked my no. own fucking play you i'm did. so mad and i even no. i was specifically going to do it over mm. <laughs> i was gonna do it here and i did it here i can probably oh still do it i can i can still This is where you start being like, can I just turn the board and make it do a diagonal? <laughs> no, I never did see Rain Man that I wasn't super interested in seeing. It's a little bit cringy. I haven't actually even honestly seen the vast majority of Tom Cruise's movies. I'm not 100% sure I've seen any of the Mission Impossibles all the way through. I'll be honest. I don't think I have. <laughs> Valid. I, I've, I have seen pieces of them, and I had to listen to the opening theme because I had to learn to play it on piano, and I don't actually completely read music. I only got that out of um, the fucking way. Oh, it does not play auti portray autism well at all. It it does the like infantilization of autistic people. So, um, like that's the entire point of the movie is you know oh I I must care for for my autistic brother who cannot possibly care for himself. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Like yeah, it's it's. It's it's a very abled perspective on autism for sure. Always is. Um, but yeah, I don't actually read music correctly. I use it to tell me what keys to hit and kind of a reminder on how long. But I cannot actually just like look at a piece of music and learn to play it very well just by looking at it. I have to hear it. Um, I had to learn to play Moonlight Sonata and failed it like five times <clears throat> five times because i had never heard it before and this was when napster and so forth were like just starting to become a thing 
and I had to have my cousin go pirate like four or five versions of it off of Napster, burn it onto a CD, and I just had to listen to them on a loop for like a week. And then I could play Moonlight Sonata. But I had to memorize how it sounded. I couldn't just read the music. Not really sure why, but that was how my brain worked. Valid. Hmm. <laughs> Pun not intended. Yeah, I mean, oh, I but then again, clicked. like... <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> it's okay, we did it. We made so it. So close, so close. Okay. How do I do this? Um... Like, there's some things that I learn uh, by, like, listening to them, but then, like, if you try to get me to listen to a lecture, for instance, I will never remember what was said. Oh, um, yeah, it's, no. It's for music that I need that. Like, I can't even memorize song lyrics without reading the lyrics most of the time. Uh, so they they thought they would be funny at a training one year. Um and be like, you know, because, yeah, so some people learn better, you know, w you know, through, like, auditory, and some people learn better through reading, like, but, you know, there's some things that you just don't learn, you know, by doing one or the other, like, you know, the lyrics to Don't Stop Believing. Did any of you look up the lyrics to learn it? And I stuck my hand up in yeah, the air, and I'm like, yeah, I did. I did. And she's like, no, you didn't. You And I'm like, don't you tell me how I learned those words. You know, I am 20-something years old, late 20s at the time. I was like, don't back sass me, lady. <laughs> You're just wrong. Like, and you can sit there and be wrong. But, like, yeah. <laughs> I saw the melting faces scene in Raiders not knowing as a kid. Oof. Oof. Yeah. It's, it's intense. I don't think I saw any of the Indiana Jones movies until I was probably a preteen. So that was certainly less of a concern by that point. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad that Rachel's here so I can just, I'm just like focused. Oh my god, I've been going for 30 minutes and I'm only on level 20? Oh, I want to <laughs> cry. Your parents told you why and you refused to watch. You know, yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's, that's, I yeah, instead of telling you just way. don't watch and then you're like, I'm going to watch it anyway. And then you're, you know, scared out of your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, my parents went through a period where they wanted to scare me with movies because I, you know, had kind of gotten a little older and wasn't scared by movies as easily. So they were like, we're going to make you watch all the horror movies. And I was like, these are mostly just boring. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Oh. Okay. <sighs> okay. We can do this. Oh. I say we. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's all. This is all Risa. Oh my God, I hate this. I hate this game. Mm -mm. It's fine. It's fine. Hmm. I'm going to try and just take out as many of these as possible. Yeah. yeah. Why you no give us next blue? Yeah, I know, right? Hit the wrong button. Yeah, see, I mostly just... 
just am not interested by horror. And then also, like, there are, like, some psychological... <gasps> Fucking finally! Finally! Me. Okay. Yes! Okay, we did yes. it. And so, you know, I'm also, like, I just kind of don't tempt fate, given the fact that, you know, I live alone. Yeah. And also, like, I lived in a creaky old house as a kid. So it would just creak and pop and snap by itself because it was over a hundred years old. So, you know, you could, you could make up really quickly that, you know, it was noises in the attic. Right. Um, yeah, you could, you could, you could make like a little S shape out of the dark blues. Oh. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I am not listening to anyone in chat right now. And I'm so sorry. You guys probably are like, Risa, do this. And I get it, but I am just i i'm trying to focus you know yeah trying to tune me out while you're <laughs> doing not this not even that i'm just i need this to be I need to be able to do blue from oh, no i can do blue from the side that's fine yeah so then i can do this i can do this. Fuck. It's fine. Oh, it's okay. It helped me. Yeah, okay. There we go. <sighs> Safe. <laughs> that one was actually easier for me. Um, yeah. Like, for reals. This one is going to be ridiculous. Um, Because there's just going to be green everywhere. So I'm going to save this green. Um, just so everyone yeah. knows what yeah. I'm doing, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm just trying mm -hmm. to decide where I want the yellow to be, but I think I yeah. need to just try and work with what I've got. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's what I figured was going to happen. So I can at least, I'm going to do. Let's do. Perfect. I never did watch the Return to Oz film. I don't know that I've even seen The Wizard of Oz all the way through. Because um, my father hated musicals. Hates musicals. Yeah, he, he still does. <laughs> so basically, unless it was like a Disney movie, he we he would like not watch. He would not like let us watch it. Um, he could handle Disney because my father does not handle the concept of diegesis and non-diegesis. He cannot understand that sometimes the songs are non-diegetic. Like, because his thing is always like, why, like Sound of Music, for example. People don't just like break into song in, in the middle of what they're doing. And, they sure do. You know, you know, so forth. And it's like, well, have you the Andrews twirling around on a mountaintop? You just might burst into song. Um, but, you know, and especially, like, if it comes with coordinated dance numbers and so forth, like, God forbid you would try to take this man to, like, a Broadway show. He would be absolutely miserable. Um, so, like, with him not getting that, yeah, I can, yeah, mu musicals were just off the table. Um, I think the only non-animated... Uh, musical that I saw as a kid. The only two were Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Bedknobs and Broomsticks. So, and like those are still like I, I would count Mary Poppins as an animated movie because there was that whole like animated segment in it. So it made it very clear that, you know, it was fantasy anyway, but We did it! The, okay, um, Whew, we got that yes. one out of the way. Haha! I was just like planning for it specifically. Um, no, it was, yeah, the best move. Otherwise you just have a board full of green. Yeah, that was kind of my issue. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well let's Here at saw Mamma Mia like 30 times. That. Hey, she knows what she likes. 
Mamma Mia is good. So yeah, you know. Some of these choices I'm going to make are going to make everyone just want to scream. I want you to understand that I hear you. I do. I understand. <laughs> You're like, Risa, no! I'm like, Risa, yes. <laughs> you have no other option. Pull the trigger, piglet. <laughs> That's what's, yeah. Sometimes you gotta make a mess. Sometimes you do. Blue. To me. <laughs> However... Oh, this is gonna be some real shit here. <laughs> okay. No, um, yeah, that worked out. What else do I need to get? What's, like, something I really need to get out of the way? Is it... These blues, or is it these oranges? I think these oranges are. Yeah. yeah. God, I wish I could. I can. This is gonna be. This is a long shot. Yeah. Say, I no, was I think so I was so lucky there. Yes. Holy shit, I was lucky. Okay. That was luck, that was skill. Oh, right. yeah, totally. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, my my musicals knowledge and my movie musicals knowledge is woefully lacking. Valid. The only, the only like productions kind of like that, like live action productions like that, that I could get away with watching were ballets. And that was because I was dancing ballet. And so I was usually like literally researching for a role. Um, the number of different versions of the Nutcracker that I watched because I had to choreograph my own Sugar Plum Fairy solo. So yeah. <laughs> There was the there was the Bolshoi Ballet and the Royal Ballet um, all on a loop for a while there. There are some weird ass versions of the Nutcracker out there. Like nobody asked for Grim Dark Nutcracker, and yet, and yet it exists. That's what we got. <laughs> it's like it's literally no one asked for this. We did it. We did it, y'all. Yes. Oh my god, this is like way too high stakes. Three more levels. Look at the question Save. mark. Save. <laughs> chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Annie. Yeah. We got Chitty Annie, Chitty Bang I Bang from, we got it on VHS from the library on Ariana and I got it so often. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I kind of feel like maybe... No, I definitely didn't see any all the way all the way through. Never mind. So I was gonna say like maybe that was one because the version with Victor Garber is Daddy Morbucks, um, which weirded me um, out because I knew Victor Garber as uh, Sydney Bristow's dad. In was it Aliens. the one? The one in um, the eighties was actually what? God, what was his name? Um. Oh my god, I just lost it. He played, um, he was in 42nd Street. He was Julian Marsh in, in, um, in 42nd Street, the movie. It was Albert Finney. That's who it was in the 80s. Yeah. Albert yeah. Finney. God, I, that just took me way too much effort to try and remember <laughs> his name. Oh my god. All right, we're just gonna have to do this. This is going to take some major finessing, I would like to point yeah. out. I don't want to get things in there, but I think that might be the best thing to do right now. Yeah. Because you're going to have to build up from the sides, yeah. Um... Okay. 
Tim Curry was an Annie. Wasn't he? He was. He was Rooster or something? No, he was Rooster. Oh, I must be thinking of him in something else. You're thinking of him in Clue, where he was Wadsworth. I was feeling like there was something other than Clue, though. But that's where he was the butler. Yeah. Clue is my favorite movie of all time. Um, I was thinking he had played like a, uh, you know, suit coat, uh, service personnel type role, in something else, but I don't know what it would have been, besides Clue, but Clue I have seen all the way through. It's a good fucking Surprisingly, movie. Surprisingly, it is. Just flames, flames on the side of my face. best place for this there maybe mm -hmm. or because it does get go through it goes through yeah right. yeah perfect i mean i'm sure it, like flopping in the box office for something like that isn't that surprising because it's definitely an either you get what's going on in that movie or you don't <laughs> there is no in between yeah, honestly. Okay. I need the orange to come from this side. I didn't tell anyone about the different endings. Yeah. I love that. I mean, I mean like, you don't, because otherwise it ruins the idea, right? But... Yeah, well, Roger Ebert was, you know, kind of a boring sort of fellow <laughs> a prick um <laughs> also that to be honest game is just like would you uh, like more green you know what i would it's here i can put that there want more green over here. I want the green to be able to actually get in here, but sadly. Yeah. But I want the next bomb to... to go. Um, I'm just trying to think. Because it won't go through and clear that, I don't think. No, but you could pop it in from the right and get that green and that purple that are kind of wedged yeah, in. That's true. That will help, actually. I'm going to put the yellow there because I think it'll be easier. Yeah. There we go. Oof. Yeah. Now you've got stuff that's all easily accessible without having to build up a block. Yeah. Except for that green. Yeah. Which, like, you could start doing with that green that we have now because it'll bump into the yellow right the here on the bottom yeah. yeah and then you just need a green to come from the left or a bomb or a bomb We're gonna do that shit again okay Phew. there we go okay i have i have the stuff for doing that beautiful I just want to clear that out of the way. Um, yeah. How do I do this with the green? If I can get some green from below at some point, that would be really helpful. Yeah. But what I'm going to do here is do it like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Uh, <gasps> it's fine. No, if, this if one... you can just put that or uh, uh no. Yeah. Um hmm. I can clear that at least. Which is yeah. fine. It helps. I'm gonna try That green is just in the worst place for me. Why did I do that? <laughs> okay. If 
I do that, though, that's trapped. So I can just set up over here is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, there we go. Yes. Yes, this is Reese's 100% run, so yeah, we have to beat this to get the award. All 25 levels. That there. And I can just be very jealous that this lab gets to have a, you know, fancy, you know, arcade machine, and what did we get? A cheap plastic basketball hoop over the back of the door that somebody had to win at Dave and Buster's. I was going to say Ben and Jerry's. That'd be fun. And honest, yeah, yeah, I would, I would have been okay with that, honestly. I'll think about it. Ian Fleming was a Fucking weirdo. Sure was. I, uh, made the unwise decision to read Casino Royale, um, around the time that it came out, the movie came out. And, th yeah, there's, there's lines that are burned into my memory, not for good reasons. <laughs> when one of them came up on Men Write Women, a while ago, it it was a description of Vesper that that referenced rape and amazing, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that was I was reading it in the break room of the um, retail job that got me through my undergrad degree, and I literally almost yelled and threw it across the break room. The only thing that stopped me is that there were no actual walls between me and the customers. It was just the display walls, so they were really thin. They couldn't see us no matter what, but they were just, like, thin plastic. And it's like, I would scare the holy hell out of somebody in the children's section. <laughs> like, they, you know, because it really would have been a, like, visceral shriek of horror. Yeah, and then Christopher Lee was in, like everything he was in man with the golden gun he was the man with the golden gun i hate this. actually i'm having mm. such a hard time here i'm gonna have to i guess i'm gonna yeah. have to put down another color to do this yeah if you put down the blue at the end of the I do it here yeah question. i think yeah here. You can clear all of those. Yeah. And then hopefully it'll just be nice to you from here on out. Looks like it will. Yeah. Thank fuck. Yes. Okay. Two more levels. It's been an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh my God. I, I offered to do this off stream. <laughs> Save. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. Okay. Madness. Utter madness. And we didn't really get a good first roll either. No, we didn't. Like, nothing is good here. Um, it's more satisfying to see you beat it this way, apparently, Risa. I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel so, like... I want this... I want yellow to come from this side, so I'm gonna put this up there. Well. I kind of feel like re-rolling. Is that bad? 
Yeah, we didn't we didn't, we get, didn't a get a good starting okay. point. Is this one even better? I don't think so, but... Actually, it is better. I'm it does, already... Yeah, it does kind of sound like a microwave. It does, yeah. Okay, I'll have this bomb in my pocket then. Yeah. Just, you know, sounds like something Nancy would do. She's already carrying around, you know, caustic photolithography solutions, so it's fine. Because she'll have to etch a silicon wafer at some point. Very soon! That, some that somehow hasn't broken in her pocket. Nope. I'm just... I had to cleave silicon wafers. Um, so the ones that my chips would come on were already cut, like, with a saw. And the reason for that was I had a thin, like, 500 nanometer thick membrane. No, it was 500 micron thick. 500 micron thick membrane. That That is a big difference, by the way. And <laughs> In what you um, do, yes. Yeah, in, in what I do. Like, the... The order of magnitude difference is significant. And, um, like, because if you'd have tried to just snap them, you would have damaged the membrane. It would have just busted. And I, like, I've seen plenty of those break. Um, we used to have the membrane for larger things that you could see. They were these bridge structures. And so, like, if you, if you screwed something up, it was really easy to break those. So we had, like, busted ones of those laying all around the lab. But, yeah, you know, obviously you wouldn't want to like do any quick movements to it or you could break it. But to do like practice lithography, so for learning how to use I I used a scanning electron microscope. I didn't do we didn't do photolithography on site. Um but it's basically the same idea. You have a layer of photoresist over the top of whatever your thing is that you want to pattern. And you use light, whether that is visible light, whether that's um, the x-rays that were in what I used, which was a scanning electron microscope, an SEM. And you would shine it on a pattern or you would have a mask, like a stencil that you would shine it through. And then whatever areas you treat with the, with the light, um, we used negative resist. So those would etch away when you put them in the developer and then you could lay down your metallic film or you could, you know, do whatever, um, do whatever patterning you needed to do that way. I need to and, restart. And for learning how to do that, we would just take blank silicon wafers like what Nancy has in her pocket and just snap them along cleave lines because these silicon wafers are crystals and they'll snap very straight along the edge of the crystals. Um, that make up the bulk material. So if you just put a little nick in one side and then you just bend it like you're kind of like you're breaking a stick, it'll just give you a nice clean uh, straight line. They are very sharp. You will cut yourselves on them if you're not careful. And they also send off little shards of silicon everywhere. So you have to wear glasses, you have to wear gloves. You really kind of are recommended to double glove because they are so small and so sharp they'll burrow through and also it will get in your clothes so we called it violent glitter because it got everywhere it was also shiny and you would be in pain for like the next couple days because <laughs> there would just be silicon shards in all your clothes oh that sounds just awful and pyrex uh will do the same thing if it actually breaks um, cause it just crunches. It doesn't shatter the way that silicon will shatter, but we crunched a, a big Pyrex bell jar. This is like an inch thick of Pyrex. Um, we brought a winch down on it and did not catch that 
it was caught on something. And so it pushed a piece of metal into it, bent a piece of metal into it and crunched the bell jar. And we had to dispose of it properly because this bell jar sat over the top of a little boat that we would use to boil metal off. And the types of metals that we boiled off were like chromium and gold and germanium and all these things that you don't just throw in the trash because um, they're major pollutants. And yeah. also that you don't want to be breathing in while you're cleaning and stuff. So it's like, all right, put on the N95 respirator, you know, put on you know, your, your Tyvek smock and your gloves. And I had to like clean all that up and kind of put it in a barrel for disposal so that they could just walk it out. And I was handling, I, you know, I had my gloves on and everything, but I was handling the straps that went around it that the winch actually kind of crunched into. And they were these, so they're lined with cotton on the inside because obviously you don't want sharp edges on this thing or else you'll break the bell jar. Well, what I had failed to realize was there were shards of Pyrex stuck in the cotton. And I didn't figure it out until I went to like, I was like, God, my hands kind of hurt. And I pulled my gloves off. I'm like, no, you know, I don't look like I burnt or, you know, anything particularly wrong. And it's like, I know I'm not working with liquid chemicals, so it can't be that. And then I happened to like brush the palm of my hand and I felt just like this all over pain. Oh, and ow. I'm like, yep, that's what it is, is I had tiny shards of Pyrex stuck in my hand and there was nothing I could do except wait for it to work itself out. Like I definitely tried the old trick that um, we used to learn for like small splinters, which is take some scotch tape and just kind of pat gently and try to lift it up that way, but it didn't get them all. So I went like two days just, you know, with my hands in pain and everyone was like, can we do anything? Can we like get you anything? And I'm like, no, I just have to wait it out. <laughs> my boss felt bad because of course, you know, he was the one who had me clean it up. And it's like, well, you know, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I should have double gloved. And he's like, I honestly don't think it would have mattered if they were that small and sharp, you know, because it wasn't anything I could see. You know, obviously I would have attempted to extract anything that I could see. So that was fun. Don't recommend. Probably should have had leather gloves on instead of the um, nitrile, but we only had one leather glove. We did not have two leather gloves. The other leather glove had gone somewhere and it was an old leather glove. So the, the fingers didn't move very well anymore. It was a pain in the ass to try to use. I didn't like using it cause they would try to use it to, for dispensing liquid nitrogen. And I really preferred to have the proper uh, cryogen gloves on. Um, which are big quilted gloves. They, they kind of look like rubber gloves. They're about the size of a rubber glove, but they're just big quilted gloves. Um, and we had pink ones, uh, breast cancer awareness ones, that my advisor literally said he bought because they were on such deep discount. They were on such a huge sale because science and you know physics and um you know temperature controlled research are still very male dominated fields and everybody's egos were too fragile to wear pink gloves Amazing. so that was why they they were on such a huge sale and he's like yeah we we don't have that problem here but then they would proceed to just not wear the gloves because okay. they didn't feel like wearing the gloves we did it okay we got that okay Aha. so Boom. <sighs> get rid of that shit uh, what do I need? I feel like, yeah, let's just start trying to clear all of this. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Feels so much better now. It really does. Um, like when all the Pyrex works its way out of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, I, I was assume. also, I ended up learning that, yes, you could still buy Pyrex bell jars that big because that was our big concern because the machine that it went to was built pre-1970s and the reason i know this is the only online mention i could find of that model was in a u.s naval thesis from the mid-1970s so i know it had to be at least about 10 years old when they used it in that um and yeah it was this big like 
18 inch diameter bell jar was huge. Most bell jars that you see are going to be a lot smaller than that, even for this type of application. And we were like, Shit, can we even replace this? Cause it's not, the company's still in business, but obviously does not support this 50 year old piece of equipment anymore. So, oh no, what do we do? And I did end up finding a wholesaler who would sell <laughs> a gigantic bell jar that was, yeah, about an inch thick when we got it. It's like, there we go. Okay, cool. Nobody break this bell jar because it cost that one bell jar was the equivalent of a month of my stipend. So that was cool. Sounds Did not it. have a good time. Because, you know, if you don't know, grad students um, get paid Pittance. below poverty line. Pittance is the word. Yes. Yes, to put it in, you know, such fancy terms. We are we are paid what is called a cost of living stipend, which does not actually cover cost of living. Of course but, not. Um, is, is essentially, the idea is that it allows you to just barely get by while you're in school. You're not making money while you're in school. Oh, no, 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 that would be inappropriate. You're a student. You are just supposed to be able to survive. Well, their idea of surviving is, yeah, you can barely afford any of your bills, and you have to have, like, five roommates, and you know, all of that. And they're like, oh no, that's fine. It's like, excuse me, it is not. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Damn. Okay, that's, I'm just gonna have to do something. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. We'll do blue. Mm -hmm. I, it's like it just keeps giving it to me as if this is going to help the situation, right? Like it's not helping the situation, y'all. It's like it it thinks it's trying. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, I need to get that green out of the way so I can get this in there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I almost misclicked. That was Ooh. catastrophic. Okay. Hey, yes. we did it, y'all. We are on the last level now. Woo woo. Oh my god, are you doing this to me, <laughs> game? I hate this. Okay, well, we're gonna do this. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yes, okay. Okay. We're just down to one here. We here. Okay, that's fine. That's helpful. It's just this guy. Yeah. So. I'm just going to have to take a couple here. There we go. Mm. Yeah, we're doing it like this. Yeah. Okay, now I don't have to worry about that. There. I can just go for it, you know? Um. God, I don't know how to do this, though. I, I can, though. I believe in myself. You got this. Welcome, everyone, to the aggregation stream. Yes. It really, really is. Um... You chose this. You all chose to be here. You sure did. <laughs> I need blue to come in this way. Clear that out. 
can also yeah. start working on orange. Get green out of there. Nice. Okay. We're really doing shit here now, y'all. We have, so we haven't built the cat yet. We haven't done um, anything yet. We, okay, actually, we, let's just take a moment. Easter eggs. So we've gotten all the Easter eggs. We've almost pulled all the alarms. We messed up. Oh, I think we still have to mess this up, stuff up one more time. We I think so, yeah. did the pigeon. We still have to do the piano, the Tesla, the cat, this, and a couple other things. Um... Yeah, this is the long and tedious one. Sure is. But we're almost there. Yeah, we are. I keep forgetting that those barriers exist and then I, I get know. set all over again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my life at the moment. I need more of these aqua ones, but they're just not giving them to me. They're like, nah, you need some more purple. That's what you need. I mean, I'm okay with getting the purple because I do need it. Um, let's get this. What am I doing? I did have smart. I'm smart. It's okay. <laughs> Definitely can you put her here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like trying to weigh all my options. Okay. I did a good job. I think this was better like this. Yeah. I can get. Yeah. That was stupid. Yeah, we'll we'll need to get the cat's head from Ryan's. We table, have the cat. Yeah. We have the cat head. Oh, we do have the cat. Part. We have what we're missing is one of the oh, back wait, legs. The leg. Yeah, one of the back legs. It's in the security booth, I think. Ooh, okay. Maybe. I Getting forget. some blue going on here, so we can now get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 We're doing things. Yeah, the game did save the progress. Yeah. yeah. It re you know, it just started us from the start of the level. Just cycling out some colors. We've we've actually save scummed a couple puzzles just to get better starting points. <laughs> we sure have. Yeah, because otherwise that would have been just catastrophic. Yeah. <laughs> it's now just like, would you like to just blow shit up? Why, yes, in fact, I might. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there you go. Um... Damn it. Um... I don't want to put down another Super color. Slide. I don't want to have to put up uh, put another color out there, but I need to. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that's oh, okay. It's, Shit, it's I hit the wrong one. It's okay. You'll get. Yeah, you'll get that one next. There we go. We did it. Uh -huh. We won. We beat it. We won. <laughs> beat that, Mason. That took that, that we're already over an hour into the stream, but I did it. <laughs>
I deserve a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, amazing. We did it. Okay, now That's what are we good. actually having to do? That's what I'm going to do can't starting check, can't check, have it tomorrow done. afternoon because I get to take a short day so that I can use up my flux time. Okay, so what were we doing? <laughs> Good question. It's got to be a bowl for fruit. Okay, let's go talk to people. It's during the day so we can talk to Ryan. I think we haven't... Did we give her her cocoa mallows? Yes, we did. I don't did. remember. Yeah, we had to have, because they're not in here. Uh, we need to then get all of the candy. That's the next thing we need to do, so I hope you guys are ready for that. What's up? Thank you for the resub, Library Ghost. Six oh, months! I got an emo. Fuck yeah. What is it? 2020 Bye. drop. What is Bye. it supposed to be? I'm really sorry to tell you guys that today oh, is somebody, the... like, like, skydiving. It's mini-game time. <laughs> because I, I need to just get all of those out of the way. Amazing, okay. Um, let's talk to Mason real quick while I'm here. Yeah, this is a very That's not where 100%. Mason is. I was literally upstairs already, which is where he is, and I came back <laughs> downstairs. Yeah, this one, this one is a, is a game. <laughs> I like this game, don't get me wrong. Hey Mason. Hey. Beat your high score again. Beat your high score again. Yes, yes, you're great. Go away. <laughs> I better. You not won't win. beat it this time, See buddy. You so See you later. Tea. Okay. Um. No. Oh, I should be able to find Ryan's um notes. Uh, her like threatening notes now, because mm. I. I watch my call it. I heard listen about it. The, yeah, I listened to the yeah. diary. Ooh. So, I need to... I knew there was something I was doing in here. There they are. Unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag, I suggest you rethink your plans. You're smart enough to know what's going to happen if you don't stop. Nico, consider what I'm saying. If you run the coil in that configuration, it's going to kill you. For the last time, no. If you make me do this, you're going to end up dead. Whoa, better follow up on this. I'll be personally accepting my award at the Visionaries in Science Conference on the night of the 24th. They certainly believe I can do what I say. You better as well. Actually, I want to reread those because it's all supposed to be like, I'm doing this and doing that. But let's read it how it actually is. Unless you're, see you're dying to see the inside of a body bad, I suggest you rethink your plans. You're smart enough to know what's going to happen if you don't stop. Nico, consider what I'm saying. If you run the coil in that configuration, it's going to kill you. Like, that is literally not... <laughs> the last time, no. If you make me do this, you're going to end up dead. So, it's like, it's one of those like, things of... Yeah, if you... If you run, like, if you run the coil in that configuration, it's going to kill you is definitely... Like... It doesn't How sound like a threat. That's not threat. what I meant to do. Yeah. I meant to... I'm, I gotta call Deirdre. Hey, girlfriend. What's up? Yeah. Uh, that's... I. <laughs> you know how to fix a musical Tesla coil? Hey, Goodbye. Deirdre, you're studying Goodbye. criminology. What do you know about Tesla coils? I guess we need to call Victor. I hate this man. You know how to fix musical Tesla coils. Hello? <laughs> Okay. Jesus Christ. Did okay. you know Ryan was threatening Nico? Do you have proof? I found a note, but she claimed it was a warning. I haven't a spoken to her yet. She didn't. Likely story. Okay, actually, I mean, I'm gonna I guess hang up. Could maybe back that out from the, you know, I one of the notes. I better get going. But... Talk to you later. Just sounds to me like Nancy doesn't can't read. Oh no, no, <laughs> no. Can't read tone. Yeah, she really, yeah. Which valid. Oh my goodness. The gummy yeah, bear and paper. the gummy bear paper, like, we're pretty sure it's Ryan's. Yeah. What's up? I found these notes in the lounge. Is this your handwriting? Yes. Okay. So you yes. admit to threatening Nico. It looks like a threat, but it really isn't. What else could it possibly be? 
It says right here. Nancy, I'm just like I'm the says. words. I am ben seeing what aggregation right now. It means just what it says. <laughs> He wanted me to build something it will that could haunt kill your him. dreams. I had to make sure he knew what he was working with. I mean, yeah. Do you have anything to prove that's true? Literally, you know the what? note that says if I you run the coil in this right configuration, now. it's going Go, to kill please. you. Nancy! Nancy Drew! What are you doing? Uh, let's talk to Mason as well and see if he has anything to say about it. Yes. He doesn't. I'll let you go. So, that's good news. Bye. I do think I need to... Now can Deirdre look up her alibi for me? I'm like, I know that needs to happen. What's up? Okay. Did you find anything on Ryan? Nancy, Ryan's alibi stands up. She couldn't have killed Nico. What? There we go. How do you know? She told the police that she won an award. That was her alibi. But it left her with enough time to sneak back in. It wasn't airtight. Close, but not perfect. There was nothing in the crime database. But I had a hunch. I went to the journalism lab and used their photographer database. Yeah, sure. The ceremony sure. was a That's the thing you story, can do. So a bunch of freelancers put their shots up for sale. You found pictures of Ryan, but what does that prove? By itself, nothing. But two, count them. Two different photographers submitted photos of Ryan standing near a visible clock. She couldn't have made it back in time. Yes, that was the finale I was building to. And <laughs> you say out loud that you yeah, were... Nancy. Oh, Deirdre, you're amazing. That is a genuine compliment. Okay. I'm working on trying and to And it began. It could take weeks. Exactly. For now, it looks like Ryan's in the clear. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were starting to enjoy working with me. <laughs> no. It's just that I'm no. bored and I'm completely out of episodes of, of TDPD. TDPD? Is that a... What is that? The Nancy. Show on television. Obviously. Ever. And you've never heard of it? Nancy, he was a linebacker and now he's a crime tracker. Bring a bell. <laughs> Oh now? God! Hey, this ben? reference. Touchdown. Never heard of it. Police like department. I don't know. Touchdown yeah. police detective, maybe. I don't know. Um, no, I I don't know if that's supposed to be an O.J. Simpson Ryan reference, but it kind of is. I found one of her notes. What's it say? <laughs> Unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag, I suggest you rethink your plans. I admire the directness. Well, good. I mean, sure? I like. I should have said this one first. Notes were taken out yeah. of context. Say what now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we were probably like supposed no to send this and then like. I'll let you go. Okay. Um, we need to go. I don't want to call Victor yet. I I would like to go do all of get all of the candy. <laughs> so we're gonna go play Simon a whole bunch, y'all. Just so you know. I think it was T D P D. It was. Touchdown. Yeah, not not Tino Balducci. Thank fuck. Okay. I hope you guys are ready. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna save and we're just gonna do this for the rest of the stream. <laughs> I hate this life. Damn it, it took too no. long. I hate this life. Oh. I, I, hit, I just took too long to do it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's... Yeah, why doesn't Nancy take all the candy before closing the lid again? Nancy!
there's one. <laughs> Let's take some. Yeah, seriously, uh, just just take it all, Nancy. Take some moon chunks. Mm. I know I don't have to save, but I want to. Because yeah. it doesn't matter. It's not going to take the candy away from me. of game crashes it's still not a bad idea to say very true yeah. and i have crashed this game before i knew it was going to be green Oh shit. I hate this life. I don't have the attention span. <laughs> I hate this Started life. Blue. I hate this yeah. life. <gasps> okay, I just need to take a moment. I I have the worst short-term memory. I lose matching games to kindergartners. Like, <laughs> to be real with you guys, this is like my own personal hell. Um... <laughs> Pink, orange. Pink, orange, pink. Blue, orange, pink, orange, pink. Blue, orange, pink, orange, pink, green. Blue! Uh! I'm over here, like, Why trying to click it for so you. I'm so bad at this! <laughs> I'm like, Risa. Why can I not play a simple game? of Simon. Why? We're gonna walk away for a moment. I need to do something that's not that. Um, <laughs> just for a moment. I was gonna say, do I need to just start writing it in our chat? That wouldn't help because it's timed. I'm just gonna press this guy a couple times. How you doing, buddy? No, I mean like in the Discord chat. 
Yeah, just, I like, know. Keep the list, and then if he gets stuck, I just hit it and send. Hmm. Possible. I'm just. I'm. Uh. Oof. But I want to do this before Victor gets here, so I can just do it all. But I'm just so bad at Simon. I don't know if this helps you, but sometimes saying the directions help. I think it, it, numbers help me the most. Um, like numbers are what I can do. So like one, two, three, 12, four. 12, three, six, nine. 12, three, six, nine. Thank you. That helps a lot. Let's try and okay. think of it as 12, three, six, nine. Okay. Okay. 12, three, six, nine, Risa. If I can do that, that might help. 12. 12, 12. 9, 12, 12, 9. so bad at this i just gotta i just gotta zone guys i'm just gonna zone and killing it to come to Simon and just lose. <laughs> Why am I like this? gonna do that because he'll show up we did that. that um you know what let's Check go let's yet. go unlock the control booth for some reason you know let's work yeah but on seriously that. nancy i will eat five chocolate bars in a room and get nauseous in someone else's room just 
Drew just won't take all the candies in one go. Shame. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like that's that's what you do. Actually, why am I taking a picture? I'm just gonna solve it right now. I need to just write it down so I can solve it. <laughs> so we have what colors are there? Red, I'm... green, yellow, blue, purple. So there's five of these. And they change color, but they don't change. Okay. So we're gonna call all of these just one, two, three, four, five. Right? Because I can't these are all just set. Mm -hmm. And it just has to do with I guess I'll just draw them. Okay, and then it also has to do with the number. So... I'm just trying to think. Red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Purple. So the red is neither first nor last. Okay. The green shape is pressed immediately after the diamond. The diamond cannot be green. Um, the blue shape is a star. Okay. Purple shape isn't pressed first. So that's fine. The square isn't red. The purple shape, the diamond, and the circle are pressed in order. So the diamond can't be purple either. Okay, so purple shape, and diamond, and circle. Circle can't be purple. The triangle is pressed second. Okay, the triangle is pressed second. The circle is pressed before the yellow. So the circle can't be yellow. The circle has to be red or green. Um, yellow shape is pressed last. After yellow, I'm going to... So the uh, triangle can't be yellow because the triangle is pressed second mm -hmm. and the yellow is last. So triangle... Um, red shape is pressed neither first nor last. That's okay. Um, green shape is pressed immediately after the diamond. So the circle is green. Circle is green? Yeah, because the purple shape, the diamond, and the circle are pressed in order. Okay, the purple shape isn't pressed first. No, because the... So, the yellow shape is pressed, and the circle is pressed before the yellow shape says to me that it like backwards right it has to go yellow circle diamond purple yeah if the yellow shape is pressed last i think and the square isn't red so it could be first but we don't know for sure yeah Sorry, my brain. I do things like, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is how I do it. Like, you know, they teach us to do in elementary school logic problems where you make the chart and you cross out what can't happen and you put what can. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm doing. So that's what I've always done. So it just takes me a minute. I'm just having to write things down so it helps me. Um, yeah. It probably does, because if like if you touch the board and then bring the note back up, will it stay there? Probably, because you haven't backed away from the puzzle. You're yeah. just bringing something up in front of it. Yeah. 
Um, shake. Sorry, I'm just. This is how I have to do it. I apologize. No, I, it's the same way I would do it. Shape. I'm in. Yellow is last. So sorry. I'm. I know this is like Risa dummy hours, but if I don't do this myself, I won't understand what's going on. Yeah. So if we have purple, diamond, circle, put circles before yellow then I know that purple is two, so the triangle is purple. Yeah. That helps. Um, cool. That star is blue. Where is blue in all of this? Do we have anything else talking about blue? Blue shape is a star. I don't think then so. Then I think that means bl the blue star is first. I think you're right. I think it has to be. Okay, so I have star, which is blue, first. Triangle, which is purple, second. Then I know that the fourth one is a circle. Yellow one is last. And the circle is green because the green shape is pressed immediately after the diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Which means that the square is yellow and it means that the diamond is red yeah okay cool so my star is blue purple is the triangle diamond was red circle is green and the square was yellow then we go um um bum. beautiful yeah this i did definitely something we lock our doors i did something here <gasps> woo woo let's save <laughs> okay Ellie's notes. I don't, I'm not bothering with this, this right is, now. It, like, honestly, writing our SOGs, standard operating guidelines in a notebook like that, I literally did that because we did not have SOGs written down. And that actually is an OSHA thing. You have to have them for any piece of equipment. Uh, basically protects your employer, your lab, whoever from liability if you run the equipment wrong and it kills you. Um, if did you that? have a standard operating procedure or standard operating guideline you typically want to say guideline because procedure is like then if they follow it to the letter and they die then it does come back on you okay well um, making but... how do we make the circuit board i need to create the circuit i know that no i need to know where i do that what uh, turn the circuits in the bottom corner i need to know wh yeah, where but... where do i do the it's... circuit board like it should be on a computer. It is, but I don't know where. Is it on? Is it on Masons at night? 
Because there's no other, like, computer here that I can use other than Ellie's, and she only has coding. In the room with the machine? Is there something here? <gasps> You're right! Haha! I could do this. This shit I have. Okay. I mean, I don't have it, have it, but you know what I mean. It's workable. Thank God, some fun puzzles. Yes. Basically. Apps? I was actually always terrible at ah. these kinds of, like, line up the pipes types of games. And puzzles. Hmm, but then where do these connect? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I can try it like this. I don't think this is right. Yeah, because where does that where does that go join then, Risa? There we Smarty. They realized they did too many pipe puzzles, so they were like, uh, it's a circuit board. Yeah. yeah. This time. Okay, so then what does this do? I mean, I, I can I can confirm this is definitely how we design circuit boards in real research labs. Yeah, we we just spin pipes around until the LEDs light up. <laughs> yeah, of course. Duh. Although I am gonna call BS because there's not a like a bunch of like old solder globs of solder stuck to the sides of everything. Yeah. Because for, like, the type of stuff I had to do, it was, um, it was small, very small chips that would be used over and over again. And you would constantly be, like, putting a new sample in and having to, like, literally bond it down with monofilament, uh, silver wire. And so there were always just, like, extra chunks of, you know, silver, um, bonded to the different bond pads and then like off the bond pad because you'd want to ground everything before you wired it up or else you could explode the you know nanoscale wires yeah exactly the yeah the entire building is just too clean like always be suspicious of a science lab that looks this clean that's why you can't trust any of the james bond villains like you should know right from the start all of their labs are too clean nope nope there's been murders murders have happened there Sorry, guys. I'm... <laughs> this is just how I am today. Keep flipping them around until it works. Pretty much. That's what... That's my plan. See? That can't be right. <laughs> Risa! Nope. Yet again. <laughs> Yet again, Risa. I'm just having some <laughs> troubles. Yeah, the game design where they give you this puzzle and call it a circuit board and then throw the end puzzle at you like you're supposed to understand it. Yeah, it's kind of like taking an electronics class. <laughs> electronics was was my dump stat in, in undergrad, and then I ended up dump doing stat. electronics for grad school. It was. None of us did well in that class. We actually managed to explode a Zener diode on our circuit board, which... A Zener diode, so, like, this is something they talk about in the game, right? That diodes are one-directional, um, and if you wire them oh, up the right then. way, they go now the wrong way, they go poof. The design. Cool. And, um, Zener diodes, however, you're supposed to be able to reverse bias, and it won't blow up. Well, we blew it up. And we were very embarrassed, because that was the thing you are not supposed to be able to do. 
we were also very convinced that they were very expensive and our teacher was like no we've got like 40 of these in the back you're fine does it take a while do i have to come back for this uh to still have to do that is it processing the design or is it um can't check, can't check that etching. Out. that's done it's etching etching yeah it takes overnight okay that's fine uh, yeah, because you've just made the mask, and so now it's in the etcher. Yeah, that'll take all night. So you guys know what we, we're going to do now? I'm going to try to get more candy. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, this is literally what you would do. You would set this up, you would walk away, and when you, you would go and get more candy. I know, I need yeah, to talk don't, to... I yeah. don't want Victor here yet, because I want to be able to get all this candy. And he'll be yeah. in here. I know what to do to progress the story, I promise. Um... <laughs> I just need to do stuff for the run, uh, which yeah. let me just make sure. Um, so Alarmist, we've pretty much done that. Candy Connoisseur is what we're trying right now. Chemist we've done. Electrified, we haven't done that. We don't have the big Tesla coil up yet. Easter Egg, we did it. Gamer, we did it. We, we fucking beat Aggregation. Dummy Bandit, we're not there yet. Imperfectionist, we're in the middle of. Composer, we're not there yet. Pigeon Handler, we did it. Pretty Kitty, we're almost there. Um, so we're getting there. Yeah, he thinks Yeah, that... Nancy's like, I'm here to do due diligence and then fucking moves in for two weeks. Yeah. And steals all the candy. does it to you anytime it goes back to like the first one yeah in the sequence and then it throws you immediately me immediately jump to want to do the second yeah it is super tedious and i don't want to yeah. have to do that and i don't want to have the threat of of victor coming back in and scaring me so that's the main thing things we do not want jeff bridges sneaking up on us We did it. <laughs> oh, be okay. Rad if you realized you were struggling. Just decided to give you one color to press. Just push pink over and over, honey. It's okay. Like with the, uh, like with the magnet puzzle in Shadow Ranch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you save when the door was? That is a very good question. It, we might be able to though. Let's try it. I was it. gonna say, and I then know. do we like a do a Punchy Larue the... dance situation. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? It doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 
I am so close. Okay. Okay. Did you get this game off Steam? I did. Um, not originally. <laughs> We'll do another, I want to be able to get another piece of candy uh, before, you know. Oh, I bought Little Lie while it was on sale and I'm upset at myself. It's a, <laughs> it's a good game though. I like Labyrinth of Lies. I hate this. I hate my brain. I hate that I just can't, I can't retain things like this. I hate it. This is another thing where I just hand it to Ariana. <laughs> How many games were we able to play together? All of them. Ex uh, technically, Midnight in Salem was over Discord, but... Uh, but, yeah, technically, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I think the human brain can only like memorize seven. I get to like five and then I'm done. <laughs> My brain's like, nah. <laughs> um, it helps, something that helps me do this is holding the buttons a little longer and mimicking the pace of the game. That's what I was just trying to do, but I'm gonna. Uh, but would you open your Steam to friends so a subscriber could finish this for you? Um, I don't wanna, I, I wanna do it myself, you know? I wanna be able to do it. So...
Okay, I'm gonna save right here. Save. Yes. Let's try. Actually, I'm gonna do a separate save, which is gonna be under thanks, gemstoned. Right? Like this. Mm -hmm. And then I take this, right? Mm. And then what happens if I load the game? No. Okay, it loads it back to it being open still, but I didn't have that. Rats. I'm gonna try this one again, just a second. Do you think it would count? That's kind of what I'm wondering. Mm. Yeah, for the trophy. Let's try this one. Okay, so definitely not. Yeah. Tell you if you get the award before the actual game. I don't know for this mm. game. It doesn't. It doesn't? No. It. Okay, well... I mean, nothing lost. We tried it. Yeah. So. I just want to actually have the cut smackers, to be honest, just to make sure. Nom, nom, nom. Um, so I'm just like going across like that. Okay. I think that's, I'm going to, I'm going to stop for now for streaming and I'm going to try and do this on my own off stream because this is not something that's interesting for you guys to watch. It's probably just frustrating um, as opposed to aggregation where at least I was doing something, but Second, you grab any candy, it immediately closes, so you don't see. I don't see your way around it. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna have to do it. I'm just gonna have to sit here and play Simon, um, or see if Andrew <laughs> will play it for me. So we'll see. See, Nico, this is why you were killed. Yeah. Exactly, because this is a stupid way of doing this, asshole. <laughs> so yeah, um, on this channel, uh, we're going to be doing podcast night on Saturday, as long as I feel up to it. I did not last time, so we'll see. Hopefully we will. Um, if you guys want something to do on your fr here, let me make that stop making music, like sleuthy mu music. If you guys want to find something to do tomorrow night and watch a stream, then where can we? Where can we maybe go for a stream tomorrow night? Oh, uh, no, maybe just maybe. I mean, if you're free around 5 p.m. Pacific, so that's six mountain, seven central, eight eastern time, you might enjoy my Twitch channel. Yes, you can find so, her at a romantic ace, uh, all one word, um, and she does a lot of fun stuff like The Sims. Are you planning on playing The Sims? Yes, and I'm. Honestly, considering building, like, making a makerspace based on um, technology of tomorrow. That sounds so uh, fantastic. I'm so excited. It's going to be yes, a makerspace. Yes, that's me. That's me, yes. Some of the people, yeah, some of the people who are in this chat have been to my other uh, channel. I don't know if all of you... <laughs> knew who knew that it was me um uh, because up until now i was keeping them separate uh because i was applying for jobs and everything and like yeah, 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 yeah. you know try to keep things separate um however i no longer care so if you've been wondering if kira and ray ray are the same person <laughs> yes we absolutely are yeah um i could make ryan as a sim please do world. so make make her as a sim and have her like her aspiration of maker or whatever so yeah, then you'll have a reason. I, then for I this can go in space. and like change the um change the lighting and stuff. I'll just exactly. drop her in like one of the neighborhoods and what neighborhood should she live in in eco lifestyle? Um, I would say uh, the harbor, the, the, the industrial one. Okay, yeah. yeah. Ooh, I have a I have a nice house I can put her in there. I think so. I feel like that would be her thing because she's so into engineering and stuff. Yeah, You'd yeah, think. I could definitely put her in my starter home that I have there. Yeah, that'd be fun. file. So yeah. So thank you guys for coming and watching. I mean, I could make her date George at some you point. You could. Yes. Like, I could indeed. These are things that I can do. It is my save file. I can do whatever the fuck I it's, want. It's true. Just like how I have a save file where uh, Moira and Kate live in Moira's cabin um, in Windenburg and they are wives. Yes. 
Or girlfriends. Yes, I think they're just happen. girlfriends. So yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow because I'll be chatting on on the stream. So you guys better it's come true. keep me company. I gave Risa a band hammer over it's there. It's true. So they can. They they have had to bop trolls for me. I in the have. Past. It was fun. It was fun. We, so we had somebody try to pull the Alt F four scam know, on me, and I was like, "Listen hilarious. here, children." I was Ugh. born on the internet. I know how this works. Okay, so thank you guys and peace out, y'all. Peace out, y'all.